Hey guys, welcome back. And if you're new here, keep on watching. Decide if you'd like to stick around. And if you do stick around, definitely consider subscribing. It would be fantastic. Today we are doing a BoxyCharm unboxing and try on. I created this look using the items in my box. This is definitely an out there type of look for me, especially the lips is definitely something different. If you'd like to see what I got in my May BoxyCharm box and to see how I created this look, definitely keep on watching. I unbox the products first and then at the end I do the try on. And if you just want to stick around to see what items I get, that's totally fine. Or if you just want to see the try on or if you want to see both, you're welcome to do whatever you want. <laughs> um, just thank you for watching and let's get to it. This month's box came wider and like thinner. It usually comes in like a, like a square box, but this month is wider because we will get into the products. Um, I've already opened it because I had to see what I was getting in order to get my face set. Per usual, the card, this month's theme is Make Waves and I got variation four. And the card on the back has all the items and their costs. If you don't already know, um, BoxyCharm is a monthly makeup subscription, which has makeup and some skincare and pretty much just a little bit of everything beauty related. And it's $21 a month. You can cancel whenever you want. So even if you want to just have it for one month, by all means. It's fantastic. It's $21, but you get five, four to five full size products of like name brand. It's a value over $100 and you only pay $21. So that's a definitely a bang for your buck. So the first thing, which is why the box was wider, this month because of this Glam Glow Gentle Bubble Cleanser. It says this daily conditioning gel cleanser gently but effectively cleanses skin and dissolves makeup. Oh, well, that's good. I definitely want one that I can just rub over my makeup and can take my makeup off, which is nice. And the packaging is super cute, love it. And per usual, I always look at like the spoilers and stuff. So I was really hoping I was getting this. Like all the other spoilers, I wasn't so crazy about. But I'm really glad with what I got. This costs $28. So that already is more than what you paid for the box itself. Just for one product. Next thing is this Vintage by Jessica Live Skin. It's a cashmere lip pencil, which this is $21, which is, this is pretty tiny. That's way above my price range for a lip pencil. I don't really wear lip pencils at all. So that's a pretty color. It's like a mauve color, super pretty. Then we got this Ciate London Eye Luster Cream Eyeshadow. This is $22 and this is in the shade Cupid. And that it's so pretty. It's like a pink eyeshadow with gold reflect glitters. Reflect. I don't know. It's a duochrome. Ooh. Oh, there you go. Now you can see. That is so pretty. Ooh, I'm excited. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, next. Dose of Colors Liquid Matte Lipstick in the color Coral Crush. It says coral, but to me this isn't coral. This this isn't coral. This is like a super, super hot pink. Like, that to me doesn't look coral. That looks red. Like, it's honestly, on the stick, it looks hot pink this lipstick is $18 I don't think that would really go well with my summery top and then the last thing is this Alamar cosmetics colorette blush trio and it is super stunning that is beautiful so pretty I'm so excited to use this and the packaging is so cute like 
that detailing oh my goodness so cute and I'm super excited so those are all the products that came the five products that came the total for all five of the products is a hundred and eleven dollars that is well worth the $21 that you pay for this box if you just came for the unboxing to see the products thank you for watching but if you'd like to see where I put on these products definitely keep watching I really appreciate it but if not see you next time hopefully guys you stay and don't forget to like comment and subscribe before you leave and let's get into the try on blush I'm gonna do blush so go into this why am I looking at my mirror when I clearly have a mirror right here and they have they're not matte they're like um shimmery so it's really gonna give you a nice pretty glow my my brush might have been dirty but it looks pink honestly it doesn't really look like this orangey peach color on me or is it just me to me it looks like it's kind of pink I'm really liking it. It's super pretty. I like that. What do you guys think? I like it. And I'm loving the glow it's giving. Super pretty. Okay, maybe I should stop because I'm it's getting heavy handed real quick. Um Okay. That's it. All I'm doing. Okay. Next we're gonna do the eyes with the Ciate Cream Eyeshadow. Okay, so I have a brush just in case to blend it out or whatever if I need to. Mm, well. Okay, that's super pretty, but it's super wet. So we're just gonna... See what happens if I blend it out or something. Okay, so if you're gonna blend it out, you gotta work quick because it's already like dry. <gasps> oh my gosh. This is so pretty. <gasps> well, this is, ugh, this is really messy. A lot of product comes up on the wand. This is so pretty. I'm literally obsessed. Oh my word. So on this orangey brownish color that I already have is from the festival palette that we got last month. And I'm going to darken up the outer corners with I think this one. And excuse these brows because lord look at all this Ugh. i need to do my eyebrows like asap but i'm just so lazy i take i literally take years even though i use like those the blades i don't flick my my eyebrows then it would literally take me years okay so i'm thinking that blush is too pink for this look <sighs> do I even have a peachy? I don't even think I have a peachy blush. Actually, yes, I do. I recently got this Anastasia tree, blush trio from TJ Maxx for $10.99. That is so pretty. So, but first I'm going to finish the eyes and then I'm going to go over with that peach color on top of the blush because I'm not liking the pink orange look. I'm loving it. Then I'm gonna take the lighter orange under here. Okay, so those glitters definitely fly every. Oh, so definitely be careful because the little glitters is literally all over my face. That's okay. I don't mind. So I'm taking this orange. To see if I can. Get this to be more orange instead of pink. Okay, I don't think that's helping at all. And then grab that 
highlighter. So from the Cover Effects palette, which we also got in one of our boxes, I'm going to go in to the pinky one. Spritz it. Okay, I'm gonna take the same highlighter of my brow bone. Inner corner, nose. Okay, and then take this to blend out just a harsh line of highlighter up there, lip liner. Okay, lip liner done. I don't know how I feel about using this super bright color and a lot comes on the comes out on the doe foot. Here we go. Uh. Well, this is bright, but I honestly love it. Oh my god. You gotta be super careful with this because if you get it, look at that. Oh my god. You don't wanna smear it. Oh my god. Ooh, I'm loving this. Okay, hold on. Let me let me get it together and then I'll be right back. So this is the final look. This is the best I could do with the lips. Um it's not the most opaque. It does need some help underneath. Um, so I think I'm just gonna add a gloss to it, see if that helps. Um but yeah, this is the look I created with the products from this May's BoxyCharm box. So if you liked it, definitely hit the like button. And if you'd like to stick around, definitely hit the subscribe button and hit the bell notification so you can be notified when I post next. Thank you guys for watching. See you next time. Bye.